Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be looking up um, some colour lockup tables in Photoshop. It's pretty straightforward, it's going to be sort of a quick tip sort of episode. So anyone who's seen my After Effects quick tip videos is sort of very, very similar to that. So what we're going to do is, first of all, you'll need a picture to work with because we're going to be adding a colour correction and then we're going to be using our colour corrections across After Effects, Photoshop and lastly um, Premiere Pro. You can use it in one other piece of software as well but it is wait, Adobe I've forgotten what it's called actually um, Speedgrade. It's Adobe Speedgrade. But I've never used Adobe Speedgrade before so we're not going to be using that. So basically what this allows us to do is make a colour correction in Photoshop and then use it, the same exact colour correction, across After Effects, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, across all the different softwares. Um, and it means that you can have presets as well for your colour corrections. Which is ideal, of course, if you have a, such a unique colour correction for, say, a poster you're designing, and there's a video which goes with this poster, or vice versa. Uh, maybe, you design, maybe you're doing a movie and you want the colour correction to be like a horror film then this is very it's a, it's a very good idea to have it so we've got our picture here and um, this is one which I just pulled off the internet somewhere um, and we're going to create our colour correction so to do this first of all what you need to do is just create it I guess so you've got your adjustment layers over here we can add colour curves and do it in an S sort of shape which gives it a higher contrast and then we can add a hue and saturation, we're going to colorize that on the red tint and lower the fill opacity on here. We might want to make our curves a little bit stronger. That just gives it this slight red tint and also a lot of depth to it, so all the shadows become a lot stronger. And that's the color correction I want. So if we didn't have the color correction, it looks like that. So it's quite an improvement, in my opinion. And it just gives, I don't know, it's kind of like an old-fashioned sort of ghost town colour correction, I guess you'd call it. It's definitely not anything too bright and stuff like that. So once we do that, we can delete our image. I'm going to keep mine copied, just because I still need it. So we delete it, we highlight our two layers by holding shift and clicking on both, and then we create a new group by clicking on here. And that'll put them into a group. Once we've done that, we go File, Export, Colour Lookup Tables. Now, if you don't have a background, even if this doesn't become a background, if we unlock that and it's not a background anymore, it will not export. So you need to make sure you have a background layer. So once you've done that, you click your group, like I said, highlight all your layers, click File, Export, Colour Lookup Tables. Pick up a name for it. Tutorial color correction, I'm going to call it. The copyright, we don't have to fill in because we're not necessarily copywriting it. We're going to take just 3DL and we're going to put it on grid points and go maximum. That's the quality, pretty much. Uh, so, tutorial CC. So, it does that, it'll just take a few seconds, depending on how high your uh, quality is on it. Once that's done, we can delete it, paste our image back in, and give it a test. Now to test it, what we do is we go on here, on our adjustments, we have colour lookup, we can name the layer if we want, and it's just going to make a new layer like this, and this menu will come up also. Uh, we want to click load 3D LUT file, click on this drop down menu and go 3.3DL files, click ours, click load. Just seem to be having a problem this time. I've never had a problem with it before. But back shortly. So what I am doing to fix this, uh, I did run into a little bit of a problem. I've never done it on maximum before. Uh, I've always just gone for high, and I think high is sufficient. I think that's the problem. It's not doing the maximum one. So we go on here. Call this tutorial CC. Click OK. Tutorial CC. Save it, it's loaded, paste our image back in, 
fun here, call it lockup, click OK, 3 dlut file, drop down menu, 3 dl and then tutorial cc, and it has loaded this time, it's just something wrong with a maximum setting, I've never used a maximum setting, but as you can see, there's not that much quality difference in the color correction itself, it's very sort of structured, it's really, really nice effect to do. Um, also, another thing to note about this color lookup is if you click on here, oh, sorry, uh, where was it? On here, sorry. You can see all different preset color corrections. So we've got like the horror blue in there. Let's see what else we've got. We've got the crisp winter, which looks very nice. Soft warming. All different color corrections which you can use. Which are useful for different things. And then we've got the abstract ones as well, which are things which are more striking, I guess you could say. A black light post is actually quite a nice effect. You got all the different all the different ones and the device link is for something else, I believe. Oh they do they do offer some color corrections. But yeah. You get the idea. So next up is the After Effects side of things. I'm not going to go into Premiere Pro because I don't feel the need to really. Um, it's very straightforward and you'll be able to now to do it from the After Effects side. So all I've done is I saved my image just as its default one without the color correction. Saved it as a JPEG and I'm going to import that into a composition on After Effects and we're just going to scale this up so it's full size. There we go. So this is going to be pretty much our video. Uh, I haven't got a video to put on this, so I can put show color correction. So I'm just using an image. Same sort of idea. If you had a video, it'd just be the same sort of thing. <laughs> so what you want to do is go over to effects and presets over here and type in color lut. And it'll come up with apply color lut. Drag it onto your layer, and then from that you can go to your, wherever you've saved your color correction, click on it, click open, and it really is as simple as that. Our color correction is now applied to our full track. So that's as simple as it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, next video will be available probably tomorrow, and it will probably be an After Effects tutorial. So see you next time, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment.